Nick Clegg, who got turfed out of office. David Miliband, who had to leave the country <laughs> after his brother stabbed him in the, black, in the back. And who's the other one? Nicky Morgan, Nicky who Morgan, is uh, chair who, of a backbench committee. Who also got, got kicked out of the cabinet. So three losers have decided to join forces and reverse the will of the British people in a perfectly democratic vote. It, has the world gone mad? Who are these people to come back and decide they are going to reverse the referendum? Well, to begin with, I don't think anybody should have anything to fear with people putting an argument. They won't be deciding. Only one of the three speaking today is a current MP. But let's look at the substance of it. Two years after the referendum, we've got the sight of a government negotiating, not with Europe, but with itself. Mm -hmm. So divided over these issues around customs and other issues. And I don't know exactly what's going to be said today, but I think it's time that somebody said, let's stop the ideological infighting and put your interests first, your job, your prosperity, your standard of living. And that means having a close economic relationship with the European okay. Union. And I... it's, it's quite clear when you hear the Brexiters, sure. yeah, they love the idea of leaving the single market and customs union. They love the fact we did it and we've seized back sure. control. They haven't got a None of the idea. leaders seem to have a monkey's cuss clue actually what we're going to do now. I, th I completely disagree with you on that. Because what last, are we week, do? last week, there were two p uh, things that were discussed in Cabinet. There was the new customs partnership. Which is which completely was, unworkable. Which was, well, that's what you Absolutely think. Absolutely no expert and then, in and the, the world uh, thinks this can work. Well, I happen to think that the max, uh, maximum facilitation, it's called, um, with a, a border, but not a hard border, in Northern Ireland is probably the best, the best way forward. I think they do. What do you mean? What's it called? The max maximum facilitation. So what it is? Maximum is, facilitation. It sounds like a prison. I mean, what it's is not, this? It's not a prison. What it is is there'll be a border as there is now between Northern Ireland and uh, the Republic. Right. And we are because we have different VAT rates. We have different corporation tax rates. Right. There's already a difference between Northern Ireland and the, and the Republic. And Max Fac, as it's called, will uh, have a, a border. We will use technology to try and uh, put What technology whatever... are you going to use? Because it doesn't exist. Well, it does. I mean, if you look at the... Where? Where does it you, exist? Uh, in Canada and the US. No, it doesn't. Have a fairly, it's very, very different. They have a fairly uh, soft border. It's not a hard border. Nobody the thinks way that... the technology exists to make this anything other than a complete catastrophe. Well... That's where we're going. We're going to have to leave the customs union, and people have said, rightly, that we don't want to go back to the 70s and have a hard border, so we're going to negotiate that. Here's my problem with all this, uh, is I genuinely don't think anybody really knows what they're doing, and it really... This is beginning to really unnerve me. As somebody who voted Remain but accepts the result of the referendum, I genuinely don't think our politicians know what they're doing. Look, I think it's a fair point to say, why weren't these things sorted out? We've had two years. Mm -hmm. And two years on, we've got ministers squabbling over what kind of customs arrangement we're going to have. And the thing that strikes me about this, which is the real damning indictment, is that when they're arguing, I don't think it's because they're arguing over which option they really think is best for the country. As this little group of losers today, and they are, I'm only saying that not a derogatory term, but they all lost politically, right? They've all decided to rally together as a group of losers to tell us that having lost the referendum, they all backed Remain, some were in Parliament, some weren't by then, but they all backed Remain, that the three losers would now like to overturn the referendum's ideology, which is we leave European control. No, I don't think so. Look, you can, you can shoot the messenger all day, but the message is we've had too much ideology in right. this and not enough putting but how the interests you of your me? viewers Mira, how, I get their this. jobs and trading position I, and living I get all standards. that, I get all that. Everybody wants the best of jobs. Important. But how do you equate leaving the European Union with all the controls that we were leaving with remaining in the single market and customs union where you would have to accept freedom of movement of people, for example, which is a major, major plank of why most people voted sure. to leave. You'd think? still be leaving the institutions of the European Union. You wouldn't have MEPs. We'd have to abide by their regulations. Look, I, think I, right. think I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right. I think this is something future which... Whatever we have, we're still going to be adhering to rules in the future we don't always... But I don't know what Pat's view is, but clearly a number of people want to stay in the EU. That's what yeah. this is about. Do you want, want to stay in the EU? Well, look, that decision was made. Yeah. I can't undo... Do you want to stay in the single market? ..in the referendum. I certainly would want to stay... And do you want to stay in the, in the customs market. union? Absolutely. Yeah. So you basically, basically, you basically yeah. just don't want to accept 
the referendum? No, we've, the referendum result has happened, but the question then is, is there only one form of Brexit? That's right. But you just don't accept the results. That's no, right. I, d I don't accept that. You're right that the Prime Minister set out these red lines about single market, customs union, European court, right. a number of other things. But I don't think that she had to do that, and we now know. No, I'm talking about David okay. Cameron. We now know that. I'm talking he, about David Cameron, the that man that led us over this without... cliff top. He made it very, very clear what the cliff top meant. There are countless interviews where he said it, and I don't understand how anybody can say we stay in a single market and customs union, but we'll leave. and and assume that that is in any way Brexit. Quite, it's not. I, I, I it... agree. I, I don't understand what it means to leave the EU and then stay in the customs union and the single market.